Hello everyone and welcome to Games, Comics and Crafts. In this video I'll be looking at Battle Chasers number 10. Okay, so this is Battle Chasers number 10. So this has been a long, long time coming. 9 came out two decades ago or something ridiculous like that. This is 10. Um, it's not drawn by Joe Mad. It's written by Joe Mad, But we have a pretty dig good artist in it. It's a, it's a very, very different style. But it is kind of cartoony, comic-y, which is pretty cool. Uh, it's a shame because he did the artwork, I believe, for the, the computer game that came out, and the computer game was pretty cool. Um, so when I read this, no idea what the hell was going on. It's like I said before, it's been a good few years before uh, issue 9 came out. Now, if I was clever enough, I'd have read the story so far at the beginning of the book, but I skipped over that, so I just started the book as it was. Um, but after a couple of pages or so, you kind of get the idea that um, Red Monica is hiding, and um, I forgot the guy's name now. What's the guy's name? I want to say Bast uh, Garrison, there we go. Garrison is trying to find her. Um, she's been hunted down by some bounty hunters, which are kind of some supernatural creatures and stuff like that. Um, yeah, kind of that weird kind of sci-fi sci tech stuff going on there. Um, but yeah, it's it's a, it's fun. It's a good book. Some good baddies. Um, and one thing is, the, this book is thick. This is a... I believe this is still a $4 book? Or is this a 5 No, so yes, yeah, a $4 book. But this feels chunky, and everything is virtually stuff from actually readable, readable stuff. It's, I mean, we've, we've not got a load of sketches or adverts or stuff in it, so this is a good way to start off an, a new run. So I'm not too sure this the many issues this is going to go for before they kind of stop again. I think it's tw issue, up to issue 12 they've planned ahead for. Um, but yeah, if you're ever into Battle Chasers, definitely worth a pick up to continue what was going on. Um, hopefully we'll get a reprint of all the originals and kind of these included as well so we get one consistent um, run of the, the 12 issues if it goes 12 issues or whatever. Um, I don't expect this to last very long um, and hopefully we haven't got a massive break between this and issue 11 and issue 12. We don't have like a year yet. Hopefully we've got three issues done in the can before uh, they decide to release this one. Um, but yeah, if you're, let's say, if you're ever a Battle Chess fan or just like fantasy comics or anything else, this is definitely worth a look. Um, and as if you've seen any of my reviews about the, uh, the the Dungeon Dragons comic, where you know nothing happened for 22 pages, this has got words in it and plot and characters, and they kind of had you get an idea of who's in, who's doing what and why they're doing stuff and who's you know what powers people have got and why they don't like Garrison and why they don't like you. Know, so yeah, it's it's uh, yeah, this is really good. This is a good refresher. Once you kind of get to the end of it, you go right, okay, I know what's happening now. Um, but yeah, anyway. Definitely worth a look. Keep your eye open for issue 11. Um, yeah, and I will uh, talk to you again in the next video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.